proportion means you are comparing two ratios that means you need four elements here it should be in the form of a is to b c is to d so you need four numbers if you write their cubes in terms of ratio that is nothing but the triplicate ratio only the positive quantity because ratios and proportion belongs to set of natural numbers only you will not get any negative Hello everyone a warm welcome to one and all this is Yashruti ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram the temple of excellence Mysore so here we are at the revision section of the chapter ratios and proportion so in today's session we are discussing clearly about one mark and two mark question that you may expect from this chapter so let's see the distribution of marks from this chapter for your examination from the chapter ratios and proportion you will get one one mark question one two mark question one three mark question and one five mark question so totally you will be getting 11 marks from this chapter so from part a part b part c part d you will be having one compulsory question from the chapter ratios and proportion here in this session we will see what are the types of question they may ask you for one mark as well as two mark question let's see now here is my first question find the compound ratio of 3 is to 5 and 4 is to 7 compound ratio is nothing but the product of two ratios so how i can write 3 is to 5 3 is to 5 can be written as 3 by 5 and how i can write 4 is to 7 it can be written as 4 by 7 what is the product of these two ratios 3 4 are 12 5 7 are 35 so therefore 12 is to 35 is the compound ratio for the given ratios next find the third proportional of 4 and 6 proportion means you are comparing two ratios that means you need four elements here it should be in the form of a is to b c is to d so you need four numbers here so when it means the third proportional the third proportional will be in the form of a is to b b is to c that means the second and third element will be the same only the first and fourth element will change this will be in the form of 4 is to x, x is to 6. So this is the form. Now I need to find out the third proportional, that is the third element here. So how we will find out? So we know that product of extremes is equal to product of means. So therefore, here product of means x into x is x square. That is equal to product of extremes, that is 6 into 4. Now if I take the square root of this, it you will get it as 24, which is nothing but 6 fourths. Huh? so you can take 4 outside it will be 2 root 6 right only the positive quantity because ratios and proportion belongs to set of natural numbers only you will not get any negative here so therefore when you have a square root write only the positive value hence the value of x or the third proportional here is 2 root 6 next one find the fourth proportional to 6 12 and 15 here we need to find out the fourth proportional so we write it in the form of a proportional x is to 12 is to 15 is to x again the concept product of extremes product of means 6 into x is equal to 12 into 15 x is equal to 12 into 15 by 6 6 ones are 6 twos are 15 twos are 30 so therefore the fourth proportional x is equal to 30 next one find the triplicate ratio of 3 is to 5 to any given ratio if you write their cubes in terms of ratio that is nothing but the triplicate ratio so now what is 3 cube it is 27 what is 5 cube it is 625 so this is the triplicate ratio next question find the duplicate ratio of 5 is to 3 5 is to 3 we have they have asked you duplicate duplicate means their square you should write in the form of a ratios what is 5 square 25 what is 3 square 9 write it in the form of a ratio 
that is the duplicate ratio. Next one, find the value of x if 32x x is equal to 75 is to 5. So this is in the form of a ratio. We have 32 is to x which I can write it as 32 by x. This is equal to 75 is to 50 that can be written as 75 divided by 50. So if I need x then it becomes 32 into 50 divided by 75. So 25 twos are 25 threes are here I cannot divide. So this becomes 64 divided by 3. I can write this in the form of a mixed fraction. So here 3, 3 twos are 6, 3 ones are 3, 1 remainder. So the value of x is 21, 1 by 3. So these were the few questions they may ask you for 1 marks. Let's move on for the 2 mark question. 2 numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 5. If i is added to each term, the ratio becomes 2 is to 3. Find the numbers. So 2 numbers are in the ratio 3 is to 5 means we write that number in the form of 3x divided by 5x. Because we doesn't know what is the quantity, hence we will multiply with the quantity x. Now, if i is added to each term, we need to add 5 to both. Plus 5, plus 5. When you add it, the new ratio will be in the form of 2 is to 3. This is the new ratio when you add 5 to those number. Now find those number. So we will cross multiply and solve it. So this is 3 3s are 9x plus 15, 2 5s are 10x plus 2 5s are 10. 10x minus 9x is equal to x, 15 minus 10 is equal to 5. We got x is equal to 5. So therefore the numbers are the numbers are, we have taken the numbers as 3x and 5x. So 3x means 3 into 5, 15. And 5x means 5 into 5, 25. So these are the two numbers. Now to verify this, the numbers are 15 plus 25. If you add 5 to each of them, that should become 2 is to 3. So let's see, this is 20 by 30. So therefore, the new ratio is 2 by 3. Hence, what we have done is true. So to verify also, we can uh, add the numbers, finding the given numbers and divide it. We will get the new ratio as 2 by 3. The next one, divide rupees 6000 in the ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. We know the quantity, but we doesn't know what is the exact fraction to divide the number 6000. So we will take the numbers as 3x plus 5x plus 5x. Now we should divide the quantity 6000 rupees from these three terms. So therefore here 3x plus 5x plus 4x becomes 12x. 12x is equal to 6000. So x is equal to 500 you will get. Now we have taken the numbers as 3x, 4x, 5x. So therefore, 3x means 3 into 500, 1500. 4x means 4 into 500, 2000. 5x means 5 into 500, 2500. So thus we have divided the rupees 6000 into ratio 3 is to 4 is to 5. So when you add it, you will get back 6000 only. Next one, monthly incomes of A and B are in the ratio 2 is to 3 and their monthly expenditures are in the ratio 3 is to 5. If each saves rupees 100 per month, find the monthly incomes of A and B. So here monthly incomes of A and B are in the ratio 2 is to 3. That means it is in the form of a fraction 2x by 3x. Now they have given their monthly expenditure are in the ratio 3, 5. So let's write it as in the form of 3 by 5. And they will save 100 rupees. So if they save 100 means the salary minus 100 will give you the expenditure of A. The salary of B minus 100 will give you the expenditure of B. So this is how we can write this in fraction. So 2x is the total salary of A. 3x is the total salary of B and both will save 100. If they save 100, their expenditure will be total salary minus 100 
and that is also in the form of a ratio. So there, there is no need of writing 3x and 5x because it is in the ratio 3 by 5. Once you write it this in the form of 2x and 3x, no need to write the second one also in the form of 3x and 5x. So now we can calculate the value of x and find the monthly incomes of A and B. So 2 fives are 10x minus 500 is equal to 3 threes are 9x minus 300. So we get here x is equal to 500 minus 300, 200. Now we got x is equal to 200. So therefore monthly incomes of A and B A are for A we have taken 2x so 2 into 200 rupees 400 and B is 3 into 200 rupees 600 respectively. So then what is the expenditure of A? It is 300. What is the expenditure of B? It is 500. Hence it is in the form of 3 by 5. Next, if A is to B is equal to 4 is to 5, find 3A plus 2B divided by 3A minus 2B. So here, what is A is to B? It is A by B. That is equal to 4 by 5. So this implies A can be written in the form of 4 by 5B. Now we need to find the value here. So 3A plus 2B divided by 3A minus 2B is equal to. So here 3 into 4 by 5B plus B. 3 into 4 by 5B minus B. So when you multiply 3 4s are. 12b by 5 plus b. 12b by 5 minus b. Sorry. Here it is 2b. So let's write it as 2b here. Next, let's solve the fraction. You will get 12b plus 10b divided by 5 whole divided by 12b minus 10b divided by 5. 5, 5 get cancels. 12B plus 20B becomes 22B. 12B minus 10B becomes 2B. Again, B and B get cancelled. 2 ones are 2 11 ones are. So, the, for the value is equal to 11. Hence, 3A plus 2B divided by 3A minus 2B is equal to 11. Next question. What must be added to each term of the ratio 5 is to 6 so that it becomes 8 is to 9. Now the ratio is 5 is to 6. What must be added to both? So that you will get the new ratio as 8 is to 9. Let's cross multiply and see. 5 9s are 45 plus 9x. 8 6s are 48 plus 8x. So here it is equal to, you can shift 45 there, 8x here, 9x minus 8x is x, 48 minus 45 is 3. So therefore you should add 3 to get 8 by 9. Very fine, 5 plus 3 is 8, 6 plus 3 is 9. So therefore, 3 must be added, added, so that the ratio becomes 8 is to 9. Next question. If A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3 and B is to C is equal to 6 is to 13, find A, B, C. When you have two ratios and when you have to write the combined ratio, the quantity of one of the term must be same. So here A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3 means A by B is 2 is to 3. And B by C is 6 by 13. So let's make B same here. So B is 3 here but B is 6 here. So to make it same I will multiply 2 for A and B. 
then it becomes the new ratio 4 by 6. Now I can write the combined ratio because the value of B is same in both the ratio. When the value of B is same you can write A is to B is to C. So therefore A is to B is to C is nothing but 4 is to 6 is to 13. So this is how you can write the combined ratio of any two other ratios which contain same particular term. So these are the few questions which you may expect it for one marks and two mark question. We'll meet you in the next session with three marks and five marks question. Until then, keep watching, keep learning, keep exploring. Thank you.